I started using Windows after almost a decade. Next step was to set it up for web development. One of the most essential tools for development is command prompt. In today's video, I will show you how to set up the powerful command line on Windows. For this, I install Ubuntu using WSL or Windows subsystem for Linux and change the default shell to G shell. Also installed OMIGSH and the theme Power Level 10K which is easier to set up than Power Level 9K. So welcome to the Screens channel where I will post videos related to front-end design and development. If you like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. First we need to enable WSL on Windows. For that run PowerShell as an administrator and paste the following command. Now launch Microsoft Store and search for Ubuntu and then install it. Launch it after the installation. This will open up a terminal window and take you to the setup. Set the username password and you are good to go. Open Microsoft Store again and then search Windows Terminal and install it. Launch Windows Terminal and go to Settings. This will open the profile.json file in our text editor. So now let's replace the default GUID with the GUID of the WSL which we installed. This will launch the Ubuntu Terminal by default. Let's search for Power Level 10K and go to the installation instruction. In order for this theme to work properly, we need to install the recommended font. So let's head over to the recommended font section and install the font mentioned. These are basically font patched with different icons. So it can be shown up in the terminal. Now let's change this font in the Windows terminal settings and change the font size to 16. Now let's install custom color scheme as well. Let's go to this site. It has a bunch of really good themes which you can pick from. So let's pick one of them, copy and paste it in the schemes array. Now head over to the defaults and change the color scheme. So now let's go ahead and install G shell. Change the default cell to G shell by running this command. Install OMIZSH by running this command. After the installation, the prompt will look something like this. Now it's time to install the Power Level 10K theme. So now open the ZSH RC file and change the theme to Power Level 10K. We can see the change in theme when we open a new tab. This command will run the Power Level 10K configuration wizard. Feel free to play around with different options and configurations. You can restart the configuration wizard by running the same command. At the end of the configuration, this is what I get. Since the C drive is mounted, path becomes very long, so let's go ahead and change it. Open the Power Level 10K configuration file and head over to the current directory segment. I will change the strategy and truncate it to the last. When you open the new tab, you can see only the last directory is shown. That's it, guys, we have come to the end of the video. Feel free to comment how was the video and drop in your suggestions.